Good evening, and welcome to Talk of the Bay, K-Squid's evening talk show, brought to you every weekday at 5 o'clock. I'm your host, Rachel Ann Goodman, and it's my great pleasure to be behind the mic this evening to welcome some wonderful musicians who are going to celebrate the life of the troubadour, banjo player, social activist, and amazing sing-along leader, Pete Seeger. This is in celebration of a coming concert that's happening on June 9th at 3 p.m. at the Kumba Jazz Center, and we'll be talking about that in a little while, but you are the lucky listener that gets to hear a preview of that concert with our guests. Our first duo is Judy Jager and Bob Reed. Welcome, both of you. Thank you. Thank you. We're here. Here you are. Uh, Bob, you had a long history on the radio in Santa Cruz. Um, Would you like to say hello to some of your many generations of uh, students and people who learned songs and to sing along with you? That's right. All those kids who were out there in those those classrooms when I was working in schools, I want you to get up out of your rocking chairs (laughs) and, you know, tell tell the little ones how it was. And get them to sing, right? Yeah, get them to sing. Someone said, Bob Reed, I miss that guy. So where, where has oh, he been anyway? Nice. Well, you, you'd left Santa Cruz a while ago. I left Santa Cruz about a oh, long time ago. You went to San Luis Obispo? Years ago. No, you went to San Juan Batista. San Juan Batista. And you became a cowboy. I was living on a horse ranch for 15 years out in San Batista. But although I was doing and Pete and I played at the United Nations while I was being a cowboy in San Juan Batista. We'll get into your relationship with Pete in a while. You have some great Pete Seeger stories. Judy got him off the ranch and back into the music <laughs> world. That's right. Well, he never actually left the music world. No. <laughs> but we've been playing together for about eight years, so just added, just added to that special experience. Yeah. And Judy, do you have a personal connection to Pete Seeger as a listener, as a child? Or? Yeah, I definitely listened to Pete Seeger when I was a kid growing up in a little town north of Montreal. My mother played folk music and we had Pete's records. I listened to those records and I saw him when he came to Montreal when I was a little kid. I just found out from my sister, because I didn't remember this. I always held him in very high regard. She tells me he stayed at our house in Berkeley. Whoa. That's so cool. No wonder I felt so in awe of him (laughs) whenever I saw him. But we did go see him. I remember that at the Berkeley Community Theater on the UC campus. And he was only playing for kids at that time because he was blacklisted. Yeah. That's how long ago it was. (laughs) So you're doing this wonderful tribute sing-along concert at the Kumba on the 9th at 3 p.m. Um, are you going to do a Pete Seeger song for us, you think? That day? Today. That, today. Well, oh. I know you're going to do it. <laughs> yeah, everything we do will be, will have some reference to oh. Pete, whether it's so, a song that he sang or a song that he spread to, the, to others um, through his own pen, his own music. Tech, Judy and I are going to sing Actually, the first song we're going to sing is a song that I wrote in Aromas at Aromas Elementary School back in 1985. And it's a song that Pete used to sing. In fact, as we were getting ready, I picked up this 12 string that I'm playing these days because of Pete and realized that I've actually never played this song on the 12 string except one time when we were doing a concert in um, Kingston, New York, alongside the Hudson River. And Pete turned to me and he said, Bob, sing water. Because he had been teaching everybody this song that I had written with these kids at Aromas Elementary School. Um, So he took that big old guitar of his, handed it to me, I mean, that thing was strung with telephone wire. <laughs> Huge. It was so heavy. But I, I played this song on that guitar. Now I'm going to play on this one, and you can sing along, because everything we do pretty much is going to be singing on June 9th. Because that's the feeling I want to remember, that thing that Pete used to evoke from people. And you can help us sing, especially if you're one of those kids who used to be in elementary school and is now, you know, putting money in your IRA. Yeah. Chorus goes like this. Oh, chorus goes. Animals need water. People need it too. Keep it clean for me, and I'll keep it clean for you. Animals need water. People need it too. Keep it clean for me, and I'll keep it clean for you. Yeah. Can you do that with us? Water, water everywhere, and I 
not a drop to spare Water in the ground, water in the air Though it may evaporate, it never goes away The snows on top the mountain melts and flows into the bay Animals need water, people need it too Keep it clean for me, and I'll keep it clean for you Animals need water, people need it too Keep it clean for me, and I'll keep it clean for you Now you can take a shower in it, you can wash my hair You can wash your clothes, or wash your teddy bear Really clean water is getting pretty rare If we're gonna save it, people have to care Animals need water, people need it too Keep it clean for me, and I'll keep it clean for you Animals need water, people need it too Keep it clean for me, and I'll keep it clean for you now water is rain, water's a flood, water turns dirt into mud. Sometimes water's blue, sometimes water's green, sometimes water's dirty, and sometimes water's clean. Animals need water, people need it too. Keep it clean for me, and I'll keep it clean for you. Animals need water, people need it too. Keep it clean for me, and I'll keep it clean for you. Now they say the ocean's filling up with stuff like DDT It shows up in the fish, and then in you and me If we drink too much of it, we'll wind up in bed If we eat enough of it, we may wind up dead Animals need water, people need it too Keep it clean for me, and I'll keep it clean for you Animals need water, people need it too Keep it clean for me, and I'll keep it clean for you yeah, Bob Reed and Judy Jagger live on Talk of the Bay. On the squid. On the squid. Live on the squid. That's an animal that needs Get water. Get up, you squid. Come on. <laughs> We have some new squids in town here in the studio. We just got these little figurines with a <laughs> K-Squid sticker on their head. That's Squid Girl. That's like that for song. anime that people. Is there to remind you there's a new squid in town. That eagle <laughs> That's song. right. J.D. Everybody's Sound. talking about the new squid the in new town. Squid in That's town. right. There's even a show on K-Squid called that that David Bean does on Thursdays. So we got Bob Reed and Judy Jager in the studio, and, and he only has... He has 12 strings to tune and she only has four so how many strings kids does that make <laughs> lots to tune is there a prize if you get it right yeah you get to play on case quit <laughs> there you go. and this is going to be this concert's going to be sunday june 9th at three at the kumba and people can get their tickets at eventbrite is that correct and that's snazzy right. productions that's right and is it three so you can come, you can sing with all all these other people, and then eat dinner and go to bed at a decent hour. Of nine o'clock, just like <laughs> just, just like just normal. Like, that's right. That's just right. like us big kids. But you can bring kids too. You Highly could. welcome. They 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 probably would enjoy it. The, the the whole idea for me about this concert is to try to recreate that feeling when you're in a room full of people singing about something that moves them. And yeah. I first met you at Faith Petrick's, which she was another person who got everyone singing along. She in, she was the one who introduced, introduced me to Pete Seeger, actually. Really? Yeah. So it's, yeah. it's all part of the circle. Yeah. It is. And, and so, I remember Pete um, singing in this big concert hall in Montreal when I was a little kid and getting everybody singing. And I just I have this visceral memory of that beauty. Yeah, that feeling when when you know Pete used to play the audience like an or, like a like an instrument. You know, he he'd have all the parts going, and we're gonna do some of that. We're gonna do some of that. He you know he performed well up into his later years where he could barely sing, but he still got everyone else singing. He said, "I can't do this anymore, but you can." That's right. And my favorite Pete Seeger quote is, "Don't leave." singing and music up to the professionals <laughs> meaning everybody can do this yeah and I, I that was a beautiful thing to always keep in mind because so many people think i can't sing i don't have a good quote good voice and all those 
competitions they have on television kind of mm. give the impression that we're all being judged. And we're not. <laughs> Maybe not we necessary. are, but by ourselves. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's not fair. Be nice to yourself and sing along. You know what? We won't even hear you if you sing to your radio right now. Maybe the people next to you in the car will or at home, but sing loud. We'll hear sing you loud. if you sing loud enough. It might penetrate the case with walls. You know, back in back in the fifties when Pete was blacklisted, like when when you saw him at the Berkeley Community Theater, um, he used to be gone for maybe three months at a time, and Toshi, his wife, would be home with their kids. She had three kids living on the side of this mountain on the edge of a state forest with no electricity, in the snow, uh, for three months at a time. Uh, and one, one of those sojourns, Pete came home and he, he said, Toshi, Toshi, you want to hear my new song? And she said, well, sure. I've been sitting there on the side of this mountain with these three kids for the last three months in the snow. You sing me your new song. That's probably what she said, too probably just like that <laughs> and so pete had just written this song based on the book of ecclesiastes so he sang that song for her. everybody knows that turn 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 song and she listened to that song and she said well that's 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 okay but you know there's there are no children's verses in that song so they sat in that kitchen right then and there in the log cabin and they wrote children's verses to Turn, turn, turn. And they they were put in a book, I think called The Bells of Rimney, a little thin book back in 1954, I think it was. And there they sat until after Toshi's death when uh, Pete started singing Toshi's verses to Turn, Turn, Turn. So we're going to share those, those verses with you now. Thank you. And you can sing along the Turn, Turn, Turn part. Yeah, that you part's know that. the same. That part's the it's same. It's easy to remember those words. That's right. I've always had trouble remembering the other ones. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Yeah? yeah. To everything turn, turn, turn. There is a season turn, turn, turn. And a time for every purpose under heaven. A time for work, a time for play, a time for night, a time for day, a time to sleep, a time to wake, a time for candles on the cake. Everything turn, turn, turn. There is a season turn, turn, turn. And a time for every purpose under heaven. A time to dress, a time to eat, a time to sit and rest your feet. A time to teach, a time to learn, a time for all to take their turn. To everything turn, turn, turn. There is a season turn, turn, turn. And a time for every purpose under heaven. A time to cry and make a fuss A time to leave and catch the bus A time for quiet, a time to talk A time to run, a time to walk To everything turn, turn, turn There is a season time A time to get, a time to give, a 
Time to remember, a time to forgive, a time to hug, a time to kiss, a time to close your eyes and wish. To everything turn, 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 there is a season And Judy Jager live on Talk of the Bay on the K-Squid. And a beautiful version of that song. I'd never heard those words before. but um, Yeah, we thought they need to be sung more. Pete decided, you know, he started singing them like the last year of his life, I guess, when he could. Yeah. Um, and we're going to keep it keep keep it going. It feels like a gift to be able to share those lyrics. Uh, for me, they feel a lot more approachable than... Than the ones that came from Ecclesiastes, but so it's my preference anyway. Yeah, well, it's nice to have an alternative. We have um, time for one more from you guys, and then we're going to bring on Aileen Vance. Aileen Vance? Yeah. Here? She's here. And then at the end of the hour, we're going to have everybody come back for a big finale of a Pete Seeger song. So this is all very exciting. This is K Squid Radio, Community Radio. Community music was what Pete Seeger was all about. I remember hearing this song for the first time at the Hudson River Revival. You went up there and stayed with them, didn't you, for quite many I, times? I actually lived with them. For part what was of the that year like? For, for several years. Um, it was wonderful. How old were you back then? I was a young guy. I they took like you in. 40, 30. <laughs> How old was I? Younger than you are now. <laughs> I was so, so much, much older young. then. Yes. Right. And didn't you tell me that you had the experience of Pete waking you up with his banjo? That was the That's the right. reveille. Instead of uh, a trumpet, it was Pete playing banjo in the barn and saying, "Pancakes are ready." I'd be sleeping up in the up in the barn, and I'd hear this <laughs> banjo or or the twelve string. He did it with both. He'd say, "Pancakes." Oh, it's a great memory, treasure to have it. So, and I'd help out with the revival. I was kind of Toshi's. Uh, gopher she she booked the revival basically or that was the benefit it. concert to fund the hudson uh, river clear cleanup water. which was a boat the clear water was a boat that people went up and down educating people about the river and cleaning it up and and we all did that we did it aileen vance did it pat humphreys did it nice. we did it with all kind people from all over the country would go volunteer on that boat I met some wonderful people who are still my friends. And Bob's song, Water, got sung up and down that river on that boat. Mm. So many people taught it. By many people, yeah. Yeah. Um, So, I know I want to hear some other people sing. So, this is a song that was written by Pete's friend Lori Wyatt. I always thought Pete wrote it, but Lori wrote it. Judy's going to sing it. I'm the wrong key. I'm just checking. <laughs> you always feel like it's nice to sing I always play like in this the thing. same key. You know, it's part of our collaboration. I love this guitar when it's tuned low, and I love to play it when it's all the yeah. way down. Yeah, yeah. Good. Here we go. <laughs> Somos el barco. Somos el mar. Yo navego en ti. To navigate us and me We are the boat We are the sea I 
sail in you, you sail in me. The sea sings it to the river, and the river sings it to the sea, and the sea stream sings it to the boat that carries you and me. Somos el barco. Somos el mar. Somos el mar. Yo navego en ti. Yo navego en ti. Tú navegas en mí. Tú navegas en mí. We are the boat. We are the boat. We are the sea. We are the sea. I sail in you. I sail in you. You sail in me. You sail in me. The boat that we are sailing in was built by many hands, and the sea that we are sailing on touches every land. Somos el mar, somos el mar, somos el mar. Yo navego en ti, yo navego en ti. Tú navegas en mí, tú navegas en mí. We are the boat. We are the sea. We are the sea. I sail in you. I sail in you. You sail in me. You sail in me. The voyage has been long and hard, yet we're sailing still, with a song to help us work together. If we only will, somos el barco, somos el mar, somos el mar. Yo navego en ti, yo navego en ti. Tú navegas en mí, tú navegas en mí. We are the boat, we are the boat. We are the sea, we are the sea. I sail in you, I sail in you. You sail in me. With our hopes, we'll chart the waters. Never sailed before. Somos el mar. Somos el mar. Somos el mar. Yo navego en ti. Yo navego en ti. Tú navegas en mí. Tú navegas en mí. We are the boat. We are the boat. We are the sea. We are the sea. I sail in you, you sail in me. Thank you, guys. That was Bob Reed and Judy Jagger. They'll be back for the finale at the end of the show, sharing their music and their love of Pete Seeger. Great, great job, guys. Thank you so much for coming in. Well, thanks for having us. It's great to hear you're back on the radio, Bob and Judy. <laughs> They don't live around here anymore, so you have to get all kinds of bribes to get them down here. But it wasn't hard, and thank you guys for coming. We have a brief announcement, and we'll be right back with Aileen Vance. Stick around. All right, we're back here on Talk of the Bay with our live music special in honor of Pete Seeger, who, I, what do you have been, 100 now? I'm not sure. What do you? I thought it was 105. 105 Pete Seeger would have been last May 4th. All right, so we just passed what would have been his 105th birthday, but he really cast a long and wonderful musical shadow, or light, I should say, across the musical world. And his songs are sung in many languages. He also sang himself in many languages. He was he made a point of learning songs in in Yiddish and in Spanish and. Swahili <laughs> and all those things. Yeah, and in fact, I was just thinking as Bob was talking about the audience as the instrument, which is such a great phrase. I just love that. And it's what we all, I'm sure you did too, Rachel, that experience of listening to him sing and just raising his hands up and the whole audience joins in in four-part harmony. 
And um, at the concert, not today, but at the concert, I'm actually going to teach the audience the original version of what became known as Wimowe or Wimowe. Um, I just got back from South Africa and um, I uh, have been teaching the song for a while, but I learned a lot more about it. And so I'm excited to, I, I could see why Pete was so excited about that four part harmony. And um, he did eventually find out more about Solomon Linda, the man who wrote the song and sang it with his group called the Evening Hummingbirds. They were a really great group, and they did dance and, and uh, a cappella singing. It's called Escatamia. So I'm excited about that. But yeah. come to the concert to find that out. Yes, that's going to be a, a special moment. A lot of kids who grew up on The Lion King that's, think yeah. that's where it comes from. Yeah. But I had the great good fortune of hearing Lady Smith Black Mombazo when they were here sing that. And yeah. That blew me away, too. Yeah. It's just yeah. a song that keeps on permutating. Yeah. Yeah, there's so much to learn out there. And there's so many great songs all over the world that people are singing together. And I love what you said about, uh, you know, just don't think that you can just leave it to the professionals. You know, everybody can sing and everybody needs to feel like they can be a part of that heavenly chorus. So I, for my portion, I made everyone come back into the room. You can't see them, but they're here. And we're going to sing and play together. So um, we'll start off with one song of Pete's that I've never performed before. But um, it seems very timely right now. And the idea of it came to Pete from the, there's a line in the book, And Quiet Flows the Dawn. And then um, there used to be an old Russian folk song that um, actually told the same story. But here it is in English. Where have all the flowers gone? Long time passing. Where have all the flowers gone? Long time ago. Where have all the flowers gone? Young girls have picked them, everyone. When will they ever learn? When Will they ever learn? And where have all the young girls gone? Long time passing. Where have all the young girls gone? Long time ago. Where have all the young girls gone? Gone for husbands, everyone. When will they ever learn? When will they ever learn? Where have all the husbands gone? Long time passing, where have all the husbands gone? Long time ago, where have all the husbands gone? Gone for soldiers, everyone, when will they ever learn? When will they ever learn? Mm -hmm. gone. Long time passing. Where have all the soldiers gone? Long time ago. Where have all the soldiers gone? Gone to graveyards, everyone. When will they ever learn? When will they ever learn? Where have all the graveyards gone? 
long time passing Where have all the graveyards gone? Long time ago Where have all the graveyards gone? Gone to flowers, everyone When will we ever learn? When will we ever learn? Oh, when will we ever learn? When will we ever learn? Thank you. What a timely song. We gotta keep singing it till they stop killing each other. Please, please, please stop, stop it all. Just stop it. <laughs> Sometimes that's all you can say is just stop it. Ah, oh, that song's beautiful. Thank you. That was Aileen Vance, and she'll be performing at this special tribute to Pete Seeger coming up on June 9th at 3 p.m. at the Quimbo Jazz Center. And tickets are available on Eventbrite. You just have to go look for "Sing Out for Pete's Sake." Pete's sake. For Pete's sake. Sing stop for killing. Pete's sake. Yeah. <laughs> stop that. Go ahead. I'd like to say a special hello to some of our streamers. We have Seaside, Menlo Park, Castro right. Valley, Alameda, Oakland, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Ashburn, Virginia, and Whoa. Westerfield, Connecticut. Hello. Yes. Thank you for tuning in this evening. A little hit from Santa Cruz, California out to you on the squid. I'm Rachel Ann, and I'm here with a wonderful assortment of wonderful people who happen to also be musicians. Aileen Vance is uh, singing the lead right now. We have Bob Reed, Judy Jager, and Emma's Revolution, which will be coming up next, singing for you in a short while as a little bit of a preview taste, but uh, not certainly all that you'll hear on Sunday. That's going to be a wonderful time to sing out, literally. Yeah, Sunday, June 9th. You have plenty of time to get your tickets. And for folks that are far, it it will be live streamed. Yes. Oh. But come anyway, down in person. Way better. Way oh, better. yeah. <laughs> Nothing beats yeah, in terms real of people. Along. Yeah. <laughs> um, how many instruments can we fit in here? Is right that a now? joke or is that a question? How many? <laughs> <laughs> it's a question. Is this a light, is this a light I don't thing? joke about it's a, it's instruments. A physics problem, actually. <laughs> I think we could fit one or two more. One or two more? Yeah. What are let's, you let's see how many. Let's theoretically see how many instruments fit inside this little room. What are we playing? What are we playing? Um, hammer. <laughs> yeah, so um, one of the things that Pete used to say, and I think he used to say it when he would introduce this song, he would say, so I'm going to sing a version of this song, and you're going to know another version of this song. And someone else next to you is going to know another version of this song, but if we sing them all together, then we'll make some harmony. So this is a um, version of a song I think I just internalized, Trini Lopez, Peter, Paul, and Mary, and then the Weavers. So somehow I got all of those in my head. And then Emma's Revolution, Pat Humphreys and Sandy Apatow, they um, further changed our, um, our little refrain on this. Instead of saying, brothers and my sisters, we sing all of my resistors. But you can sing it however you like and it'll all just blend into that. We'll have sisters at the end all the way. We're just tuning up a little bit here. Just for the audience's sake who can't see this, we will be uh, posting a video. We have one, two, three, and there's going to be four guitars. Yeah! We could fit a ukulele in there, so you small. You want to fit a ukulele in there, I think we could do it. <laughs> and then later it. we'll have, um, Pat will bring her banjo in, so yeah, yeah, yeah. you'll get to hear that as well. So that'll be really fun. That is one thing also that we should mention that Pete Seeger did, which he had this How to Learn the Banjo book, and a lot of people picked that up and learned the banjo. How to play the five-string banjo. That's right. Yeah. And, uh, Are we ready? We're going to start, and then the 12-string will come in whenever it comes in. So... If you're sitting at home and you just feel like coming along, here's your part. And you can sing along with all the rest. 
If I had a hammer, hammer in the morning, hammer in the evening, all over this land, I'd hammer out danger, hammer out warning, I'd hammer out love between all of my resistors, all, all over this land. If I had a bell, I'd ring it in the morning, I'd ring it in the evening, all over this land, I'd ring out danger, I'd ring out warning, I'd ring out love with all of my resistance, all, all, all over this land. Here we go now. Pete Seeger's more famous songs. Everybody sings that, too, in other languages. Well, we're going to do another shift. Uh, I guess it's called yeah. Musical Chairs and bring on Emma's Revolution for a couple of songs, and then we'll have a grand Pete finale. This is Talk of the Bay. This is your K-Squid Community Radio, welcoming our streamers and our online and our frequency listeners at 90.7, 89.7, and 89.5 around the Monterey Bay, linking us all together through the power of radio. Well, I first heard Emma's Revolution years ago, but I also first heard uh, one of the two people in Emma's Revolution, um, Pat Humphrey, sing this beautiful song called Swimming to the Other Side. And all of the kids in Bonnie Dune School learned that song. It was an incredible song to hear children sing. And it, I don't know if we're going to hear it, today, but we're certainly going to get to hear Pat Humphreys and Sandy O oh here. They are part of Emma's Revolution. If you don't know them, check out their music. They're singing some really hard-hitting political songs as well as beautiful love songs and everything in between. And of course, songs by Pete Seeger. Hi, Sandy. How are you? Hi. I'm glad to be here. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you for coming all the way down. You guys are located in the Bay Area, right? Well, we used to be. <laughs> used we're to actually be. in... We're in the greatest Bay Area. We are <laughs> we are way Outer. up in Woodland, California now, near Davis, wow. near Sacramento. Well, I'm, that's even further, so we're even more honored that you came so far. Thank you. Um, we actually were at a rehearsal in, in um, Berkeley for a show we're doing we're with Holly Near on Saturday night. The freight, oh. 
that is sold out, but there's live stream like this show that we're going to be having on June 9th. And I think live streams are just one of the beautiful silver linings of that time when we couldn't get together because now people around the world can come to a concert right here in Santa Cruz. So I hope people will take advantage of that. And right now we're listening, people are listening in Virginia and Connecticut. So right there on. you have it. No, that's spreading love far so, and wide. Yeah, do you want to do the request song? I did hear you request a song, Rachel. So <laughs> well, I, I don't that. want to put any pressure on music. That's no pressure. No pressure at all. It's that is no pressure. <laughs> that's all right. A request is a lovely thing. It's an and enduring we know that one. That's what counts. If you request something we don't know, then we then we gracefully decline. Yes, <laughs> graciously <laughs> decline. And just a little reminder: Dr. Don Motika will be on right after this, so mm. we'll we'll be clearing all the banjos and guitars of the, of the room and bringing on the medical advice. That's community radio for you. We we go the, the gamut of, of entertainment and education. So yeah, what if we do this one and then? Uh, sure, we can yeah. do that. Okay. Actually, we uh, we were just in the Hudson Valley just um, I don't know a few days ago. Mm-hmm. Um, That's Pat Humphrey speaking, by yes. the way. Yes, and um, there's a since the the organization Clearwater, like a lot of orgs, um, has been kind of struggling since the pandemic. Um, the boat is still well and on the river, um, and still continuing to take people out onto the river uh, to that you know beautiful beautiful Hudson that you know Pete dreamed of cleaning up and then tens of thousands of people got involved and made that dream a reality and um, we met the the new crew of the of the boat and I was I was standing there across from these sweet young people just like seeing myself from years ago of the you know first time I came on the boat which was in the late 80s and it, was, uh, it was actually really really moving to meet the new crew you know being out here I don't have as much contact with the boat as I used to I used to go up and transit with them periodically and stuff. One of the things that folks there said is that um, this song still gets sung every year when they do an annual swim across the Hudson um, there at Beacon, where Pete lived, lived. and uh, they just got a a bunch of money from the the state um, to promote swimming in in wild places. and they focused some on the river pool that uh, that Pete helped create for so that little ones could swim in the river. And, um, and they sing this song where the adults uh, go across and um, swim the the full um, you know width of the river there. So it's nice to know that it's still being sung in the valley. We are washed by the very same rain. 
We are swimming in a stream together, some hidden powder, some hidden pain. We can worship this ground we walk on, cherishing the things that live beside. Loving spirits will live forever, we're all swimming to the other side. All this journey through thoughts and pain, by the intuition I had my heart. I am gathering the tools together, I'm preparing to hold my part. All of those who have come before me, men together, be my guide. Loving lessons that I will follow, we roll swimming to the other side. a beautiful song. Thank you so much. Thank you. Aw. This is a, a Pete Seeger tribute. <laughs> it's wonderful. Thank you so much. And um, we are going to hear another song before we have to go. And this is Emma's Revolution. They're appearing at the Pete Seeger tribute. And this is Kay Squid. I'm Rachel Ann Goodman. Such a treat to hear Wonderful harmonies. I think it's maxing out our board, though. It's like, what do I do? It doesn't know what to do. With all the beautiful music. And so I'm, I'm doing my best to mix it on the fly, folks, but I, I'm afraid some things got switcheroony. So, um, but we are going to have a wonderful video out of this, and we'll post it on the K-Squid website. For people who just tuned in, this is Emma's Revolution, hailing from far north of here. So we're lucky to have them down in the studio. I hope you'll come back again for another time. Now that you know how to find us. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a minute since the last time we performed, so we're so glad that Judy and Bob and Aileen decided to invite us to this. Is their second annual? Is that right? Fourth. Oh, fourth. Gosh, what took you so long? I'm joking. Oh, fifth. Oh, that's right. I've seen flyers. That's great. Fifth annual. Yes. We've been on the road uh, quite a bit lately. Um, we were up in the northwest, and we were over on the east coast. And so um, just got back a few days ago. Well, welcome back. We're, we're so glad to have you. And, and your songs are just... What I love about them is... You know, it's hard to write a topical song, but it's great to hear songs that address current events and, and feelings of 
wanting to be empowered. <laughs> so, Thank you. I love that Who Lies. You just have so many great songs. People should check you out if you haven't heard them. Emma's Revolution, they're opening for Holly Near tomorrow night. And we're actually just a, we are uh, accompanying her on her show on Saturday night. Uh, but oh, you'll be the backup at, band. At the freight, that's right. And also at, the, at Hot Monk, there's still tickets there on for Monday night. Nice. People want to take a drive. Cool. Um, I think just because I'm a person who looks at clocks and yeah. you have a clock this might be our last This might one. be the I last song. Yeah, and I so, think so let's make yeah. room on the mics. and um, Crowd around, everybody, everybody and, and snuggle up to your radio. We have Emma's Revolution, Aileen Vance, Bob Reed, and Judy Jager in the studios. And that's what banjos sound like when they're tuned. <laughs> or when they're tuning. Yes, banjos. It is an endless process. Perpetual. Okay. That's right. And we have Dr. Don Motika coming up in just a short moment I'm after this. About been on the radio forever. Well, you, you wouldn't know hey, it Dr. since Don. she was tw- two years old, probably. She was a doctor <laughs> even then. This is KSQD Santa Cruz, KSQT Prunedale, 90.7, 89.7, and 89.5 FM. A special hello to Nevada, Nevada, California, San Francisco, Oakland, Alameda, Castro Valley, Seaside, and Westerfield, Connecticut, So, and Virginia. Very glad to have you streaming along with us this evening. So this is a song that has a part for you, which is why we've got all of our friends gathered around with us. Um, Because that's what Pete did. He wanted us all to sing together. He wanted us all to hear each other's voices and also add our voice and have our voice be heard. And that doesn't that sound like democracy to you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, And in this year, when we really need to get out the vote, uh, we really need to rescue our democracy from the brink that we're on um the way we like to do that is through singing together and keeping ourselves energized and then going out and doing the work um to keep change the world and make the world a place that we all can safely live amen to that all right so uh this was the i wish i wish that i had finished this song before Pete died, because I would love to have sung it to him. I I think he would have liked it. I was far ahead of toy, made of plastic and of joy. Magic music long machine from a drum, a stick, a string. Couldn't know as I would play, but lived to meet the man one day. Playing the song that shaped my life, taught the world to sing. Oh, hear the banjo ring, hear the people sing. Sing, people, sing. Yeah. Summer of my 18th year, San Francisco he'd appear. Jumped onto a Charlie car, along and what rain. Road was full when I got there, people came from everywhere. Climbed the redwood by the stage to watch the revelé. Oh, hear the banjo ring, hear the people sing. Oh, changes everything. Sing, people sing. Hudson River Shore, a harvest kept me. A skin made a volunteer, keep the river clean and clear, celebrate the river's life and all the gifts you raise. Oh, hear the banjo ring, hear the people sing. Oh, Sing. Stood up to God 
Southeast rage, rallied for a living wage, brought new footing, marched with Dr. King. Patiently brought us the law, taught us each and every song. Though she by your side, you could do my steady thing. Show us how the world could be living with integrity. Together we create a force without imagining. Time served your coming work of the spark and ignite. I will train it all to be the hidden hands of Oh, hear the mentor of rain. Hear the people sing. Oh, change is everything. Sing, people sing. Thank you to Emma's Revolution, Aileen Vance, and Bob Reed, and Judy Jager. Thank you so much Thanks for, for being us. here. Yes, Thanks thank for you. having us. Yay, see thank you on the 9th. Thank you, Squids.